Today, Oklahoma battles Texas here on CBS Sports. Occasionally in sports, the big event overshadows the athletic contest at hand. It happens at the Super Bowl, the Kentucky Derby, the Indianapolis 500, and since 1912. The city of Dallas and the Texas State Fair has provided the backdrop every second week in October for two of college football's finest teams. Today, for the 82nd time, it's the Oklahoma Sooners and the Texas Longhorns. It's a beautiful day for football here in Dallas and only a slight breeze from left to right. Now the athletes are ready. Texas will receive. They won the flip and elected to defer and Oklahoma said we'll take the wind and go on defense. Thompson's kickoff not a good one. The short man with a fair catch there at now, now the Texas offense Brett Stafford. He will be the quarterback. A lot will depend on him today. Two fine running backs. Norris the fullback in front of Metcalf. Texas expected to throw Tony Jones the small wide man and Gabriel Johnson should be the main targets for Stafford and also his backup quarterback should he come in Shannon Kelly faking to Metcalf they throw complete on first down for a first down to Jorick battle number 40 with the responsibility of giving him time to throw Champagne is the center. Jetton and Slay the guards at tackle Cunningham and Nielsen. Should they go to a tight end, Clark has chucked in on this sequence. They run Norris the fullback straight into the middle of that Sooner defense. Now the defensive line, Williams is up front, along with Evans and Kilpatrick for Oklahoma. And outside of them are Reed and Johnson. Well, they are going to throw the ball at least 60 percent of the game. The, the opening pass for Stafford there was a big one to get his confidence going. Here's his second pass down the middle. Oh, and incomplete. He was aiming it for Jones. Now the rest of the defense, the linebackers, Dante Jones replaces Bosworth. Casper is also there. White and Finch are the cornerbacks for Coach Switzer. And the safeties, Vickers and Dixon. This will be a third and nine for Stafford and the Horns. Off the delay, it's Metcalf. Stop at the 50. Great tackle by Dante Jones. Alex waits to punt it for Texas. Barefoot, left-footed punter, and he'll take it out of bounds. And the man who pulls the trigger is number four, Holloway. Great speed in the backfield. The fullback, 45 car, the first option for Holloway to watch. He rides it, pulls it out, and keeps it on first down. Now the Oklahoma offense, Holloway the trigger man. Great speed with his halfbacks, Stafford and Collins. And the fullback, number 45, Lydell Carr. Carl Cabanis, when they elect to throw the ball to a wide receiver, is a preferred target. And of course, there is also one Keith Jackson. Second and short. This is what the wishbone of OU's frequently puts you in. Here's Carr. Great hit by the defensive front that time. Stafford, the left half, is 25. Collins, 33, is the right half. Pulls it away from Carr. Keeps it again himself. And quickly the horns were up, led by Britt Hager. But it is a great line. Latham is the center. Hudson John Phillips has moved over to guard to replace his injured brother. They don't lose anything because Richard Marks is a fine tackle. And of course, Keith Jackson ruling over that offensive line. You know, Brad, you always talk so much about Holloway and their backs and their speed, but they. Snap on the target to Thompson. Good high punt at the 16, and here comes Metcalf. Eludes the first tackler, but quickly gets hit by the second. That was Dixon. Now let's watch that horn offense. They split the backs. They come out of the eye this time, and they try to get Metcalf outside. Good defensive pressure that time by Daryl Reed. Harry Cash comes in. They're working three wideouts on this second and ten. And off a of fake, Stafford with great time. Intercepted. Oklahoma with a scoring opportunity as Ricky Dixon picks off a ball that appeared catchable. Now. 
great striking position for Holloway and the Sooners. And they ride Carr, and again, that is twice. Now second and ten, and the Horn defense looks strong here so far. This time, Carr up the middle. They split one half out there. Here is that defense up front. Llewellyn and Hackenmack. They are the two men who bear a great deal of responsibility, along with Duncan and Aldridge, who play outside them. Now, Britt Hager must lead the way he was injured early in last year's game. Beckelman and Dwayne Duncan, they are brothers. I think there are six pair of brothers in this Texas team. Big down for the Texas defense. All the way pitching outside, and the trailing man is picked up beautifully. That was Richard, the cornerback, with a 44-yard field goal attempt by R.D. Lasher. Misses. Oklahoma is favored by 30. Someone forgot to tell the Longhorns. First and 10 for the Longhorns, and so far this has been all Texas. Metcalf trying to dance outside. Again, that formation with three wide receivers. Fumble on the snap. Mm -hmm. Stafford dove back after it. And now has really enjoyed and found the advantages of three wide outs. Well, they said Metcalf out, and they run the draw on third and 13 with Norris, and Norris comes out to the 30-yard line. Thompson is back there as one of the Sooners' return men, I see. Shank again. Off the side. And it'll be spotted at the 36-yard line. Tight end Keith Jackson at some point to try and loosen up this defense. Let's see how it operates here. Now they run right straight ahead with Collins. They changed the look that time. I love that dude. <laughs> here is the first down. Collins. Moving across midfield for the Sooners. That's nice running. Great block by Mark Hudson, number 79, the left guard. So they'll take it back. Patrick Collins, 33. Anthony Stafford, 25, are the halfbacks. And you see they break the bone here this time. Holloway, faking the pass, takes off himself with those quick feet. And boy, did he get hit by behind. Whoa, Thomas Aldrich and outside on the right. Cabinets on the left. He wants Jackson. Lobs out of bounds, and I'll tell you, that might be interference. Well, it, it should have been. It was a good, aggressive play in the eyes of the officials that time. Thompson with a beautiful punt. Metcalf will let it go, and it'll go on into the end zone. I mean, Thompson. So our coverage starts at 12.30 Eastern. Stafford will throw it on first down. Complete. And that's Gabriel Johnson, number again, three wide receivers. So the offensive line doing it mano mano for Stafford. Stafford runs the option, slipped inside neatly, and got another first down. Bosworth was a great, great college linebacker, and I think he'll have a tremendous career up in Seattle. Stafford again on first down. He's got time, doesn't he? And on the move, he'll throw incomplete. No, it's something that we're looking forward to, and we know we have a chance. We just have to go out and play well. Well, he's two of five with one interception. This will be his sixth pass dropped. He's had a couple of balls dropped. That was Metcalf. Now they third and ten. He'll be looking at five defensive backs this time. Rolling to the right. Incomplete. And is that interference? You bet. They're down to the Oklahoma 49-yard line. There might be some uneasy folks over there on that OU sideline right now. This wasn't supposed to be happening. Norris right straight ahead. And that offensive line of the Horns drove him back. Gets that one off. Here's Metcalf on the option. Hit hard as he turned the corner by Lonnie Finch. Stephen Clark, Jones, and Johnson are the wideouts. Straight back. Plenty of time. Intercepted again. The second interception is Vickers. Caught the deflected ball. And they come out in the eye formation. They were going to bring him around. Fumble. Texas ball. Britt Hager, the middle linebacker, pounces on it. And the Horns get it right back. And, folks, we may have something brewing in Big D. Texas with the ball at the Oklahoma 43-yard line and a first down. Off the draw fake. 
Stafford incomplete down the middle. He simply threw it up over everybody. Now on second down, the quick throw outside to the flanker and Gabriel Johnson. But, uh, something that's, uh, I'm going to deal with it later on down the okay. line. Let's go back to you, Brent. All right, on third down, Stafford throws complete to Metcalf. Metcalf oh. short of the first down. I would say to watch the fake in this situation in a game like this. This would be a 52 yard field goal. It's good. Ooh. There is a penalty marker down. The field goal is good. It's a good decision. I'll tell you, there is a rule that a lot of coaches follow. Never take points off the board. It, and the horns up by a field goal. Fielded at the 22 and down quickly right there. And the first option car comes through at him. Britt Hager. Now they face the second down. And they pound Carr right straight ahead Ooh. and that sooner offensive line. So with a first down, it is Collins breaking to the 46-yard line as we come to the end of the first quarter. Texas leading Oklahoma. College football on CBS will return after this message and a word from your local station. First down here to start the second quarter. Ooh. Holloway kept it, and Hager couldn't bring him down. He broke the tackle. The middle linebacker couldn't bring him down. It's the triple option. They run Carr inside the 35-yard line. Cabanus is split out to the left in this formation. Off the option. Fumble! Ball went out of bounds, however. Touch last. Holloway under pressure. Haggy was blitzing. Great catch by Jackson out of bounds inside the 10. Oh, the All American tight end, Keith Jackson, uh, with a first and goal. Touchdown, Carr. The Sooners bounce right back. They give up a field goal. Jackson with a great reception. They score for the first time and they lead it seven to three. Metcalf and Jones are back deep but they will not get an opportunity. Kickoff is short. Fielded at the 22 yard line and returned out to the 32. They've been unable to get the corner with Metcalf on the sweep. So they'll run Metcalf on the draw. He gets outside himself before he rolls out of bounds. Three wide receivers. That slot formation. You can see the slot man stepping in motion. And a quick throw to Metcalf as he works out of bounds on the near side. And with Metcalf, they split the backs. Stafford on the option is stopped. Dante Jones, he and waits to punt again. He has struggled so far. This is a low line drive, takes a bounce on Thompson and gets past him. And now Texas can down it inside the five, and they will. And right now, his Oklahoma team comes up to the line of scrimmage, first and ten out the two. And almost busting out of there is Stafford. But uh, we do have problems. We've always had problems, uh, and we address those, and the NC will look at them. So the story has been denied as of now. First and 10 here, they did plunge for the first down, and again, they bring Carr the fullback. Holloway keeps it and got the first down. For 2,000 yards, that's a new quarterback record. 
at Oklahoma, and they bring Anthony Stafford straight ahead up. Oh. On the pitch, Collins breaks free. Inside the 35-yard line before Senegal runs him down. So it's first down. Holloway keeps it. And Hager brings him down inside the 35-yard line. And they'll use Stell right away. He will not get free. Great pursuit that time. Holloway keeps it. Tries to get the corner turned and cannot. Now they don't settle for field goals very often, this bunch. They get the sixes. He has kicked a few extra points, though. Good. The Lasher builds the Oklahoma lead to 10 to 3. Same thing. The kicking game plan. Go to the short man, Samuels, at the 24, and he is hammered down there at the 27-yard line. Now the Sooners have turned it around. We have 8:42 to go in the first half. Stafford again with time. Penalty marker is down. Incomplete. He wanted battle. That protective pocket, and it will be a holding call against the Horns. So it is first and 20. After that holding penalty, Metcalf goes in motion. And Ooh. Norris goes nowhere. Ooh. And I think you could hear the popping. Power football, and uh, I'm used to that at Oklahoma, so it's always had to get back to that game plan. Okay, Brent. All right, thank you, John. Oh, Ooh. Stafford did not fool Daryl Reed. Yeah. Metcalf. Another great defensive play. This one by Williams. It's returnable, and Thompson's got it. Here's the freshman quarterback inside the 35-yard line. And Holloway handing off to his fullback, in case you're wondering who won the tug of war, Texas. Well, the Texas defense has played well, but they can't be out on the field, backed up against their own goal line all game long. Holloway keeps it on that option, and Hager stays with him. So third and ten. Holloway, he'll keep it. Breaks free to the 20. The middle linebacker that time and took him out of the play. And now Carr pounds into the middle. Eight yards to go for the first down. It, nothing has come easy for OU this afternoon. It's been like that. Let's see what happens on this third down. Here is the pitch now. Stafford trying to get the corner. He might have been short of that first down. We'll see where they spot it. Went out of bounds. But the ball was spotted where he dove. But anyway, it's first down here for Oklahoma. And they come with Carr. He breaks one tackle. Now it's second and goal. Here comes Collins. He'll be out of bounds at the five-yard line. And here comes a third and five for Holloway and friends. He'll throw. Touchdown, Jackson. And a penalty marker down at the line of scrimmage. And I think that's offensive interference. I think Jackson pushed off. There's the personal foul signaled against the defense. And here's the push off. It's offsetting penalties. Offsetting penalties. There was that penalty. Now they put Jackson on the left side for Coach Switzer. He's looking for him again, and he is hammered as he releases the ball. That was Lasher. It would be 22 yards. Hammers it up there. Another three. Well, it's 13-3. Sooners over the Longhorns. 2.28 to go in the first half. Here's that short kickoff. Metcalf comes up behind him. 
tries to field it and it goes out of bounds. So, it, so the kickoff games continue here. And instead they'll go to the other side. Fumble. And Texas will come up with it. How they slot Metcalf. Stafford looked at him, but he was covered, and he comes back the other way to Norris. And he has tackled there at the 25-yard line. The Sooner talent exerting itself as we thought it would. Stafford rolling to the left. Metcalf gives him some protection, and he drills the pass to Jones that time. Up offense keeps Oklahoma's nickel defense off the field. Stafford runs Metcalf on the draw for a first down, tries to break free, and gets to the 45-yard line, and... Stafford swings it out to Norris. Norris to midfield. Stafford quickly gets the snap count out. Here comes Metcalf again. Another first down. Breaks inside the 40. They'll stop the clock while they move the chain. He's in there with Jones and Battle. They're the three wide men. Stafford runs the option, and Norris, the fullback, it's close to the 30-yard line. Rolling to the right. Incomplete. Oh. In and out of Johnson's hands. That's Metcalf. Norris on the draw, short of that first down, I believe. 46-yard field goal. 24 seconds to go. A strong leg, doesn't he? That's two for him. Texas still in it on the scoreboard. But they're matched against number one, and Oklahoma will prove it. I mean, they are loaded. They'll kick it on the ground. It's fielded there at the 13-yard line and run out of bounds. About 15 seconds left. They'll just run the clock out, and they'll take this seven-point lead. That's the end of a surprising first half. The Texas Longhorns hang tough. They trail Oklahoma by only seven points. They were a 30-point underdog. And Norris, the Texas fullback, standing at the 20-yard line. They go to Chris Samuels. He's a backup tailback, trying to come to the far side and get an alley. And Texas will have the ball near the 30 three-yard line up so let's see how this unfolds now Stafford the Texas quarterback high formation he'll throw again on first down complete mm. he hits oh. battle the ball is at the 44 for this first down three wide receivers have gone all the way this is Metcalf jitterbugging to the 46 yard line Yes, Oklahoma leads, but only by seven points. The third quarter just got underway. Off the play fake, Stafford has had time. Down the middle, intercepted. The third interception, two by Vickers. Vickers loose at midfield, looking for an alley. And Vickers out of bounds inside the 30. There is a penalty flag, but the penalty is going against Oklahoma. There's a roughing the passer penalty. We saw him get hit a little bit earlier. Yeah, the ball is clearly gone there. Good, and good that call. defender did not at all. The horns down by seven. Metcalf in motion. Complete to him. Almost spinning free at the 35. I'll tell you, leading Michigan right now. So on second down on that draw play. Metcalf squirts free. First down for Texas. Would you believe what's happening? The three wide receivers are Johnson, Cash, and Jones, and Metcalf goes up on a wing. Norris, the blocking back. Stafford under trouble, steps away from pressure and throws to Metcalf. And here is a second down and five. Again, he has plenty of time. Incomplete over the middle, intended for Metcalf. Jones goes up to the right. Five yards for that first down. Stafford, he's got it. He's got Clark 
That's a first down at the 15 yard line. To Norris. Let's see what the horns come up with. Here's Norris. He gets across the 15, down close to the 13. And line him in the eye. Johnson turning around. Stafford again with time, and it's intercepted by Oklahoma. Only Norris and Stafford can get him out of bounds. Ricky Dixon saves the moment. Yards, first and 10 for the Sooners wishbone. Fumble! They go in to unpile them. Now second down for Holloway. Collins and Stafford are his halfbacks. Carr the fullback. Holloway keeps it, and he cannot get away from Duncan. Only one running back, the fullback, Carr. Holloway oh. going for Cabanis. Touchdown, Oklahoma! Third quarter, lightning strikes in Dallas. Two huge plays. That short kickoff. Fair catch, which you can call for on a kickoff. So now Brett Stafford, Brett Stafford stays in at quarterback. Rolling here, he has Johnson open. He throws to Norris, the underneath man, and he's out of bounds. Clark turns back around. Norris comes through for the first down. All right, now we got a first down after that short burst. Stafford, under heavy pressure, scrambles away from it, intercepted. Had a man open and could not get it over Troy Johnson's head. With the, the coverage. And you can see that Metcalf was open to Collins straight ahead. That play worked back in the second quarter. And Senior year when I hurled a guy here at the Cotton Bowl on the left side. Wait a second, let's go back to this play. That looked like Earl Campbell. Lydell Carr gave us his impression of Earl Campbell and rambled in 32 yards for another Sooner score. He pulls it, but it was through. There's something, aren't they? When they get it rolling, boy. I'm here to tell you, these Sooners are something. It's 27 to 6, Oklahoma. And this time, with a big lead, they take it deep. Metcalf stands in front of Jones, comes up the middle. That little delay Ooh. got him an alley. He's something. And here, Texas trailed only by seven at their half. But they have given up a couple of quick touchdowns. It doesn't take Kelly Long over the middle, complete Ooh. with his first pass to Tony Jones. Working with the three wide receivers, Kelly's going to put it up again. His receivers were covered. He's forced to run, and he is down at the 48. Wide receivers run the option with him. Fumble. And recovered by Texas as it went out of bounds. Will be Nebraska and Oklahoma State. Kelly under fire won't get it off. Yes, he does. He hit Norris, the fullback. And they get back to the original line of scrimmage. Here's Waits. He rips that punt. Fielded, faked inside the five. Didn't think anybody could shut down Humphrey after we watched him. This is Collins, 33. You know, Anthony Stafford, number 25, he hasn't shown us that great speed yet. And Holloway goes deep incomplete. Here's Carr. Bounding out, but he'll be short of that first down. They're going to try to get Metcalf a return. He runs up on it. He's something out of bounds. Shannon Kelly brings him up to the line. 
working with the three wide men faking to Metcalf oh. intercepted he overthrew his receiver Johnson who was wide open and cut up brings back the interception at Oklahoma they've lost to only one school and two games in the last couple of years plus on that wishbone with Carr the fullback both excellent students and Jamel Holloway in third and four for Holloway he's got the first and it's up inside the 10 yard line He won't get it out of bounds. So now Charles Thompson and the, the folks they get another great athlete in at quarterback. He's a freshman out of Lawton Oklahoma. He hands it off and Collins bangs in. Touchdown for the Sooners. Oklahoma backs are such complete backs. So I'm sure that John Dockery will track that story down as Lasher adds the extra point. It's 34 to 6 Oklahoma. Power Oklahoma football. Look at the center. Latham as he comes off the ball. Brent, you talked about this offensive line, how good they were. Three perhaps All-Americans in the front for Oklahoma. And it was really swollen one week, a tremendous problem for him. So they must be careful with something like that. Another short kick, Samuels fields it, and he gets out to the 32-yard line. As the Texas quarterback, Stafford returns to quarterback the Horns, and they'll run Metcalf on a delay, and boy, he is something. Out to the 44. Double wing. They sent him out as a receiver this time, and it's a short gain. Out of bounds there at the 46 yard line. This is a chance for him to get back and get some confidence confidence back. Stafford's a senior, and Coach McWilliams said he has already heard from a highly touted high school recruiting to te Texas. Gonna come there. He hits Metcalf. Metcalf first down inside the 40 yard line. You know, they broke Texas' heart just like that. Norris, the fullback, is hammered. Stafford forced to scramble, gets free, and he hits Walker for a first down. Oh, yeah, but he had him for a touchdown. Metcalf on the draw. Down at the 20 yard line. Well, the end of the third quarter. It is Oklahoma 34, Texas 6. College football on CBS returns after this message and a word from your local station. Send me your linebackers. Stafford pulls out, incomplete. On it, Metcalf, but with working behind. Oh, the three wideouts, and they have all game, and this is the third down. That's Clark. Off the option, here's Norris. Short of the first down. <laughs> 36 <laughs> yards, unless it's a fake. He's got a strong leg. So it's the third field goal for Clements. It's 34 to 9. We'll continue. Stafford and Hall back deep. Line drive kickoff. Stafford scooping it up. He's got great speed. But he could not. There's Dante Jones and the tight end, Keith Jackson. Yeah, let's go back upstairs for a minute. Then I want to ask you something about the strike. We'll be right down, John. The fullback pounds away. Uh, unfortunately, I think the players have, have a belief that it's going to happen, but I don't think that will come. come. Thank you, Gil. Brent? There goes Thompson. There is a penalty marker down at midfield. The backup quarterback, the superb athlete, as is the starter who was hurt. Thompson keeps it cut back. How about that burst? Thompson trying to get free and Hagee 
Finally got him at about the 25 yard line. So here's a first down. Collins. He's close to the 21. I'll tell you. Now this is a second down play for Thompson, the backup quarterback. Carr to the 19, but he'll be short of the first down. They, they lead it by 25 with 11.23 to go. Thompson keeps it. Got an alley. He'll be out at the 10. Right around there. They can all move. They pound Carr. No gain on that play. The Sooners come up to the line here with a first down. The ball at the 19 yard line. Damon Stell and Eric Mitchell. Number one check in at running back. And they break the fullback. Rodney Anderson. There's the backup fullback. Out to the 45. He's getting along with people. And Barry does that. I think his athletes like him. Uh, the ones that have played for him, they've got a lot of nice things to say about him. Keeping it is Thompson. Goodbye. And Lasher hammers in another one. It is 44 to 9. Well, let's check in with Jim Nance and see he's 13 6 at the half. Oh, again, Thompson goes to the short man, Samuels. He breaks a tackle. And he's out of bounds there at the 25 yard line. Send Metcalf out as a receiver. He's out of bounds there at the 29. It surprises of the season. Oregon. Metcalf on the delay. Great move. Jitterbugs his way and then slashes to the 40 in a first down. Ball at the 40. Reflected on the swing intended for Norris. Holloway, gashed arm, but we've seen that they've got a great backup quarterback at Oklahoma. He is so good that they switched Mitchell out to halfback this year. Here's Metcalf. He's played his heart out here this afternoon. Stafford. Intercepted again. Scott Garl battles his way close to the 30 yard line before. For Oklahoma. Thompson. Incomplete. Cabinets, the intended receiver. He's going to be some questions raised about Barry chucking it into the end zone. As he did there up 44 to 9. But like we said, this is a battle for bragging rights and recruiting rights. Is Rodney Anderson. Thompson's that fast. I said, just keep throwing it. <laughs> you think they do least well, right? Comes Thompson. Incomplete in the end zone. That was Arthur Guess. Oklahoma up by 35. Texas has thrown five interceptions today. That ties the school record. And they, <laughs> all right. First down. And Kelly returns and it's incomplete. Gabriel Johnson. Listen to some of the players talk. It looks like it's going to be a long one from here on in. Yeah, it doesn't look good, does it? Kelly, there's a completed ball, and Vickers delivers the hit. Okay. Third down. Well, you've also got a Keith Jackson. They just don't throw it enough to him. Run Williams. Get him a first down from Texas. Now, of course, that does not include the uh, the Big Ten, Pac-10, but still, it's really impressive. Complete. Nice catch over there. That was Tony Jones. Paul Behrman. He's out of Norman, Oklahoma. Isn't that something? The only player from Oklahoma is right out of Norman. The flip back. That's Williams. Won't get away from the defense that time. Nailed at midfield with the That's what it looks like to me. Second down and four. Or I should say about second down and 14. Another interception. That one was. Intended for Jones, and I can't decide which is the bigger upset Indiana over Ohio State or Memphis State over Alabama. Boy, those were two big ones, weren't they? As Mitchell 
runs off tackle. <laughs> He's from California. Oh, you bet. It is a tremendous team, and there's a great backup. Thompson tugging free and finally goes down there. Really a big play in this game. Because they scored twice in a minute 15, and this ball game was never the same after that. Talent prevailed. Now Thompson tackled out of bounds. Oh, should have been a late hit. Yeah. Now on first down. And they run green. So here's the second down. They should do it. Great performance by Switzer's team in the second half. So we'll continue from Dallas after this message and a word from your local stations.